1969 Ford Transit, it's obviously the Mark I. Um, South African import this one, it is UK registered now. We've got the reg and everything for it and the logbook on the way. So that's, this is quite an early one, um, denoted by a few things. So it's got the FORD, so the, the, the exposed lettered grill. Um, and then a few of the telltale signs. So it's the metal top dash with the ashtray. The, uh, the pedals come out of the, uh, the floor. Um, and a few other bits and pieces. It's just been brought into the UK from South Africa, so it has been in a dry country. Obviously in better nick than it would be if it had been left in the UK. Things like your arches are lovely and solid all the way around. It does need some cosmetic work. It's got some scuffs here and there and some marks. I mean, it wants a paint job, really. Got a little bubble of rust on the air, just on the gutter here, and there's been a bad repair on the top of the rail. Coming down this driver's side, the sill and everything is lovely and solid all the way down. If we get a look underneath, things like suspension points and chassis are lovely and clean. It's not been messed with, it's not caked and under seal because it's been through South Africa. But as you can see underneath there, really nice and clean. Have a look from the back there as well. And again, same story, all the points and everything, really, really nice. Arches are all nice and solid. It does have some cosmetic bubbles here and there. Um, but it has been sat in South Africa for some time. All the seams and everything are nice and crisp all the way around. Nice and complete. We do have a crack in the little tail light on the top there. On both sides, they tend to dry out and crack in the sun in South Africa. But round the hinges are all nice. Gutters are all nice and tidy. And then underneath from here, you can see nice and clean. It, it wants sort of a light restoration really, um, but it is a good running driving start. Arch is all nice on this side. It has got a bit of a scrape here. I'm not going to delve too much into the bodywork because it, as you obviously can see, needs some work. And then this front arch, lovely and sharp all the way around. And again, the sill is decent. And underneath from this side, as you can see, all lovely and clean under there. Surprisingly clean. But again, that's partly why people go for things from South Africa. Bottom of the screen along here is all nice. Like I said, early car, FORD grill, all that sort of stuff. Interior-wise, obviously it's a van, so there's nothing to really see in the back. Um, the steps are solid. There's a little bit of surface on the seam there, but it is solid. If you can take my weight, it can take just about anything. Comes with this beaded seat cover. Um, but again, it is the metal top grill with the ashtray. It's showing 259,000 kilometres. Um, but again, if you check the description, we'll detail what we know about where the car's been, its history, stuff like that. If we look under there, you can see it's had a plate at this point. Um, but again, like I said with the rest of it, it wants, wants some attention. A little bit of a tidy up and a restoration, really. Uh, and then into the back. You can see there's a little bit of daylight coming through on that step. Uh, obviously where the fuel filler goes through there. But the inner arches and stuff are all nice and solid. That floor is solid in there. Roof and everything's nice and tidy. We'll, uh, we'll get into the uh, into the bonnet and have a look under there. Toby will pull the bonnet release for me. Again, you've got that four cylinder V4 engine. Inner wings and everything are nice and solid. Like I say, it does run. Toby's gonna get it fired up for us in a second. Uh, it did come in after being stood for some time. So we'll get it started up here, but the battery does take some charge. It seems to be fine after it's been running for a couple of seconds, uh, but we have got it on a booster pack there. Get it fired up. Yeah, like I say, it wants a tuner, but it does run and drive. We've had it around the yard. Goes through the gears quite happily. Pulls on its own steam, all that sort of stuff. So there you have it. 1969 Ford Mark 1 Transit, South African import. It is UK registered. If you've got any more questions, please give us a shout. We're happy to help. Thank you.